You are a brand new real estate agent. Congratulations. Now what? I know one thing, I know you're ready to start making some money. With starting a new business, there are some things that will get you distracted from making money immediately. Today, I wanna go over some things that will set a foundation for your business and only take you one day. That way you can get started immediately with what activities actually will make you money right away as a new real estate agent. If we have not met yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and investor. I have had the honor of coaching hundreds of real estate agents as they begin their journey and venture into real estate investing. For the best in real estate tips, marketing, and investing, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. All right, so let's get into it. You're ready to start making some money, right? Let's not get distracted in some of the things that can really hold you back from the activities that actually make you money in real estate. Those activities are lead generating and lead follow-up. You can't sell anything if you don't have a buyer and you don't have a seller. However, as a new agent, I know you need some things to really brand yourself and begin to share with people that you sell real estate now. I'm going to give you four things that you can do right away, maybe even all today, that will set a foundation for you to begin to build your business and make a lot of money in real estate immediately. First thing is go ahead and start your company. I'm not a legal advisor. I'm gonna tell you what I did and then you can do the research on what's best for you, but I will make it simple. My real estate license is in my name, Heather Blatz. So I started an LLC at SunBiz because I'm in Florida by myself. I did not hire an attorney. I just went to sunbiz.org and bought Heather Blatt's LLC. I have since turned my company into an S Corp. However, I do highly recommend that you do seek some legal counsel to figure out what channel is best for you. My intention in sharing this with you is to let you know that it doesn't have to be complicated. Your first name, your last name, LLC, right away will get you what you need to get started. Your second thing is your email. I suggest that you either get a Gmail, which is a Google account, or Microsoft. Your first, your last name at gmail.com or your first and last name at outlook.com. I say this for a few reasons. Number one, you do not know what company you are going to be at long term. And if you go ahead and start this email now, you can take it with you regardless of what company you transfer to in the future if you do. The other reason is I'm actually a fan of the Google My Business and all the things that are offered with Google in the drive. And some people are a fan of the same exact thing that's offered through Microsoft. Having the ability to change computers and be mobile with all of my documents is crucial for me because I'm always on the road and always moving. I'm very rarely sitting at an office. So really quickly, log into which one you prefer and first last name at Gmail or at Outlook, and let's get started with your email. Now, the third thing is your website. Again, I'm gonna make this super easy. There's no reason to go into, you know, so-and-so sells, Heather Blatt sells the coast, or Heather's a realtor.com or whatever. Just first and last name.com if you can. I actually wouldn't put any dashes or anything in there as well. If you have to put your middle initial, you can. You can purchase your URL from sites such as godaddy.com. I would highly recommend that you purchase it because you own it and you can actually purchase one, two, five years or just auto renew it every year. Now, most brokerages that you will sign up with will actually give you a stock website. So say for instance, I'm at EXP Realty, heatherblatts.exprealty.com is likely my website. And then I go to GoDaddy and I point Heather Blatt's to my EXP website. Now, since I've owned heatherblatts.com, since I've gotten into real estate, I was at Keller Williams, I had my own brokerage, and then I moved to EXP. All my branding had heatherblatts.com on it. And no matter what brokerage I was at, it pointed to my website with my contact information. Last but not least, instead of a logo, I highly recommend you getting professional headshots. In real estate, you are your brand and your marketing. People will be meeting face-to-face -face with you. I believe that it's really important for face recognition that they're seeing you on all marketing material. In today's world, digital marketing has flourished. 
the filters on your iPhone is not gonna give you the quality that people are looking for when it comes to a professional business and seeing you professionally as a real estate agent. So get a professional headshot and if you can, go ahead and get a few different poses. In today's digital world, you can get really creative with online marketing. I know today's tips were quick and they're simple, but I really wanna encourage you that simple is best. You can actually complicate things and really create a marketing nightmare by creating all of these really long URLs for your website and emails. Like I said, Heather sells the coast. It's so long and really hard to brand when really all your buyers and sellers care about is you and what you're gonna do for them. So take these steps today and let's get started in doing the activities that will actually make you money and make you successful in real estate. If you got something out of this video, click the like button. It really does help our channel. And if I can help you in your real estate journey, please contact me. All of my contact information is in the description below. Be sure to subscribe and share this video. For the best in real estate tips, marketing, and investing, check out more of our videos. See you next time. I always have to separate those two. And not always. I'm not always going to have to. I will I will get it down. Before you know it, it's going to take me like two minutes to do the whole oh, thing. Yeah. This is the quickest one I've done. <laughs> woo woo. Minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. Usually they're like 25 to 30 minutes. That's long. 15 minutes is long That's for true. a four minute video.